Hello guys, are you wondering how to remove your tail shaft on 700R350 Turbo 460E and uh, so on? Well, let us show you today because we're getting ready to remove one and we install it all in one video. Just for you guys. Okay guys, I don't know if you can see it too good as we have pretty bad light. But we have got one bolt here. We got one bolt here. One bolt here, one bolt here. You have got four bolts on these older style 460Es, 350 turbos, and 700R4s basically. We are taking this one out because we are putting a 700R4 into a, the Trans Am. And it's got this for the wheel end bar that goes up and connects to the tail shaft. The support <clears> bar. <throat> now, let Tony finish breaking now. Okay guys. This is pretty much, we got a light now. We have bad lighting in the building. It's pretty good lighting, but on camera, it's terrible for the camera. Ain't it, Tony? Mm-hmm. <clears throat> Just all this one does just two. Just the box in. Hmm. Box in, Tony. This it won't go over in it. Over in it. <coughs> nope. You're gonna have to hit it with a hammer. It's trying to it's let, me help, let me help Tony get this off before he strips it. Pull on that, Tony. And right here you go. And that's the O-wing that seals it. You can see it right there. This is pretty much a speed monitor gear right there. Which drives by that. Pretty cool, ain't it? Pretty cool indeed. We are flopping these tail shafts out, so this gets a go. Bye-bye. Yay! Sure does. Bet you can't wait. So, the next agenda is to be installing it on the other transmission, and you will get to see that all in this video here in a couple, few moments. Okay, guys, I don't know if you can see this too well. Tony, you got a flashlight on your phone? Mm -hmm. And you got a flashlight? You got that little flashlight that we had? Okay, shine a light down there first. Okay, guys, sorry about the blue, but... We well, are pretty much going to show you how to install your tail shaft today. And what we have here is a 700R4. We are converting into a Kamat well Trans Am. And what we have is a tail shaft off the of original 4L60. Not the E, but the 60. Which I think has been flopped out for a 700R4 once at a time. I hang 100% on that. It might be an actual 60. So, we are taking the tail shaft off. As you can see, it is driven by a gear. But it is electronic speedo. So, don't have a tone wing. This goes right like this. Make sure your wing is on our good. No tears. We check this one. So it's good to go. It shouldn't leak. It should seal just like it was when it was on the car. It should now. Make sure it's cleaned off good. Clean enough from what we've been building this in. Middle of nowhere. <laughs> just... If it pulls, it's going to be an act of Congress, but it should. You line it up. I like that, and you start your bolts. It ain't going to go in as smooth at first, because it might sometimes stick a little bit, and you might have to use a little bit of force, but as you can see, it didn't take much. Sometimes you have to hit them with a rubber hammer, and that frees them up. Now, once you get your tail shaft bolted on, you just have to snug them up, because that gasket will take care of all the leaking. Just make sure they're nice and snug. Don't over tighten them because you can crack the case. Like me. Huh? Like me. Not you, over tight them. Yeah, you're bad at over tightening things, Tony. So we're going to finish this up. And then uh, i give you an outro on the video. Okay, guys. That's pretty much got everything lined up. 
uh, showing you how to install a tail shaft on a 700R4 350 turbo and so on. I uh, hope you enjoyed this video. I'm sorry I didn't do the outro sooner, but you know, it's been a long couple of days and I uh, got a lot of content for you guys, so this is one of them short little content videos. Hope you found it helpful. Subscribe to the channel for more daily content. And until next time, I see you then. Take care. Peace out. Have a nice day.